own Carry Travel Extra, I want to ask you, each of you in turn, um, from what is the biggest frustration you've seen since the report was initially launched? Uh, where is the first piece of sticking plaster to be applied? Uh, what's the running sore that really hasn't been addressed or has to be sorted quickly or we run into trouble? We're, we all see everything through the Brexit lens, um, particularly as, as we kind of come to the finishing line as to where we think we might end up in that regard. But the lack of investment for the, in the longer term in overseas marketing, to me, is one of uh, the areas that I feel uh, needs to be more um, strongly considered, particularly by the Exchequer. You know, tourism is not about, the game is not about today or even next year. It's all about our, our share of voice and our message in the overseas markets. And if we don't hold on to that share of voice, and right now we're, we're losing share of voice in all of our key markets. And when you look at the level of growth um, that we have from North America, even the amount of gateways that we now have coming out of that market, it is phenomenal. And it is a market that is, as we can all see, not just producing in the peak season anymore, but the growth that that market is now giving us in the off peak, which is hugely important in terms of seasonality and regionality. So that's business that we need to shore up and actually in terms of mitigating maybe some of the impact that Brexit is going to have, we need to invest in that market and we're getting no closer to actually getting additional funding there. So to my mind, in terms of what we're doing to kind of mitigate what the possible outcomes of Brexit will be, we need to be investing now as, by the way, are other industries being supported to do so through the Enterprise <coughs> Ireland, etc. Um, there is additional funding going into international markets and tourism just isn't getting its share.